All right, let's go to Wilson, who joins us in Orlando, Florida. Wilson, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. My question is this. Um, I've been signing up for work online constantly, over 40 jobs, and none of them have called me back. I had an idea to make postcards and mail people in my residential area a portion of my resume and contact information. So if they're hiring or if they know someone who's hiring, they can contact me because of the postcard. Is this a wise idea or a bad idea? What's on the postcard? The postcard will consist of my first name. I'm looking for work. I'm a certified computer technician, uh, a snippet of my resume, and maybe a link to my LinkedIn account so people can take a look at it online. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I've never heard anybody ask this. I like it. You've already kind of committed to it. The only thing I would do is, because you're mailing this to how many neighbors? Um, I don't know, probably around like a um, three to five block radius. Yeah, you know what? I would just tweak the uh, postcard to um, a version of what we do in the resume guide. Have you looked at the resume guide at KenColeman.com? Yes, I even utilize that template. Yeah, I love it. So I would do a version of that for the postcard because here's what you want. You, you kind of want to say, hey, folks, I know this is I, I would do some nod to how different this is, you know, say, hey, I know this is outside the box, uh, but I'm highly qualified and I'm looking for work. And the reason I'm mailing you is to let you know I'm your neighbor. And if you've got any connections, uh, I would love to. Uh, and, and appreciate you making the connection. Do you know what I mean? Like, make it short mm-hmm. and sweet, but don't make it another version of the resume because it could go right in the trash can. I think you got to make a personal appeal. You know, hey, neighbor, uh, this is outside the box, but I want to find any way I can to make a connection. You know, were you laid off because of COVID? No, um, I moved to Florida about two years ago. I lived in Orlando for about two years, four months, and ever since I moved in, I couldn't land a job. Um, uh, soon to be one year anniversary of me being certified as a technician. I'm a CompTIA certified tech. Yeah. And I've looked for every tech job. Even um, one tech company didn't even want to hire me, and I had everything they were looking for. Yeah. Well, here's the point I'm okay with you doing this, but this is not in any way the best strategy. This is extra. You see what I'm saying? So make this mm-hmm. as personal as you can. Um, it's different. Some people are going to be intrigued by it. Others might think it's weird and throw it in the trash. Just understand that Mm -hmm. that is what it is. It's not the best way, but if you're committed to it, I'm fine with it. It's kind of intriguing. I do like how bold it is. Um, but keep in mind, most of these people are strangers, right? So it's not the best strategy. It's not true connection that I teach, but if that's what you want to do, then do it. Have you had the Have you had the opportunity to get my book, The Proximity Principle? No, actually. Okay. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you a copy. Okay. Uh, Madison's going to give you a copy when I put you on hold in a minute. Okay. Listen, you've got to read this. This is going to take you about two mm-hmm. or three nights. Okay. And you have got to do what I tell you to do in the book because Wilson, it will get you eventually some opportunities. But I know you're new to the area. But there are some very tactical ways that you can make connections. And I want you to read the book. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to go to, are you a member of our official Ken Coleman community on Facebook? No, sir. I want you to do that too. I want you to go to Facebook, search official Ken Coleman community. And it's all everyday listeners and they encourage each other. They're going to give you some great advice, but you're going to become a part of a community. So you're not alone. Just tell them I called the show yeah. today. Here's my story. If anybody lives near Orlando, I've got some relationships. They help each other. So I really want you to go there because for nothing else, you're going to get some community. Okay? I don't know if you'll get a direct connection, but I want you to do that. But then the, the, the third thing I want you to do is, and again, you're going to read this in the book, but I want you to double down more intense than you ever have. And I want you to start hanging out, finding online communities in Orlando, um, or start identifying companies specifically that are hiring like for, for the positions that you want. And I want you to not contact them. Don't apply until you have found one connection minimal, okay, that knows somebody in that company. Then I want you to apply, okay? And you see if you get that one connection to give you a minimal endorsement or at least commit 
to also presenting your resume to that hiring manager. I want you to just try to do it one time. Okay. Now, again, Mm -hmm. if you can't find it right away, you can still apply, but you've got to go to the next level right now. And it's got to be some type of connection where somebody goes, Wilson's a really good dude. He's a really good guy. And, and, And I want to try to help Wilson out. That's all this is right now. We've got to get collectively a group of people say, Wilson, I'm going to do everything can I help to, to everything I can to help you out. And and you'll get there. Because of your technology skills and your qualifications, this is about intensity. Your life depends on it, and it might. So that's the effort I want you to give. 